What up YouTube and welcome back to the Super Sham Poker Vlog. This is episode 2 of the Super Sham Poker Vlog. I know we've been away for a while but we've been working on some exciting stuff trying to find the right editor so we can commit to this vlog and get videos out consistently and also improve the quality of these vlogs. Poker is on the rise in the Dallas area and we visit one of the newer properties. It's a legal room called the Poker House Dallas. This room is definitely nice enough to compete with TCH which is the big dog in the area and I think it's better for the poker ecosystem in Dallas if we can keep and sustain more rooms because I believe it helps to speed up the process of having legal poker in the Dallas area. So hey, if you happen to be in the Dallas area, I recommend giving them a try. Now let's get into the action. The video starts and this hand is already in progress. We pick up Jack Jack and with one limper under the gun, we make a raise to $25 and we get one caller. Jacks can be difficult to play but now when you drill it, look at that, jack in the window. All we need now is our opponent to just basically shove his whole stack in. But he doesn't, so we go ahead and bet out $25. And he shuffles his chips and thinks about it, then he decides to call. The turn comes a five. The turn comes a 5 and he thinks about it for a little bit then he decides to check to me. When he checks to me, we set up our chips and we go ahead and place out a bet of Looks like we settle on $75. Now he pretty much is going to go into the tank for a millennia here. I really don't know what he's thinking about. Um, I mean, we have we have the board destroyed pretty much. I mean, we've got top set. Really, not much he can do. Uh, we're hoping he calls. Sadly, though, he just slides his cards into the muck. We're a good sport, though. We go ahead and show him. I got really, I really got no fear in these games of my opponents filling out my style of play. So I show a lot. Now this next hand, well we've got 10-10 here in the small blind. This hand is an absolute disaster. We've already got four limpers in front. I'm in the small blind. There goes a fifth. We've got the button straddle on for five. And we got Mama who leads out for 25. We go ahead and call. Now that's where we make a mistake. We should have three bet with these tens if we decided to play them. But instead, we go ahead and call, and uh, now we end up in a pot where we've got five callers. And what is what happens? The button decides to min raise it to fifty, and our second mistake happens again. We go ahead and call the fifty min raise, and the players behind us call. This is really not the spot you really want to be in with tens. And look at this! Look at this! Just absolute chaos. One of the players in the middle of the position, he decides to go all in. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, he goes all in, I want to say, for about, probably about 600. This is, this is just a horrible spot to be in. I'm sitting with about, I want to say, four, 450 behind. Mama's thinking about it. And, and we know she doesn't put her hand, her, her money in unless unless she's got the goods. And, and 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 okay, and she's all in. Now, here's the weird part. Unbeknownst to me, I didn't even really understand that the button strider, he hasn't even looked at his cards yet. Yeah, he's playing this hand blind, and he covers he covers everyone. He's got about eight hundred dollars. And then, and then he goes all in. Look at that. 
this is just this is just another example of how crazy these Texas games can be. I mean, just pure action. Yeah, he just flicks his wrist and just starts shoving his stack in. He hasn't even looked. And what am I going to do? <laughs> Are we going to hero this off? Are we going to save the day? Play these tens like a boss? We're thinking. We're thinking. We're disgusted about the spot that we just put ourselves in. All the other players are having a great time. Not us, though. Nope. Ugh. <sighs> Now the rest of this hand, I just want to show you the kind of insane chaos that uh, we are up against in these Texas Texas games. I mean, look at that. No, he's he's sitting with a thousand. The blind straddler, who ended up going all in, he was sitting with a thousand. Mama's got about three fifteen, three twenty five invested. Uh, no, make that two seventy five. And the other guy down there has. He's got about 600. Um, we're, we're pretty sure Mama has the best hand here. I mean, we know the blind straddler has garbage. He can he can have anything. Uh, and this is a one-two game, by the way. This is not this is not a very um, very big state game. This is your average beginner level game in Texas. But these players are just not afraid to put money in and get stacks in I mean it's just crazy <laughs> look at this look at this the dealer had to use both hands to shuffle these chips around puts out a flop uh, I got a very bad camera angle but we see a few low cards we see a face card we see a river which looks like an ace no that river was a three. Look at that flop. Okay, seven, nine, three, king, three. Oh, and we had an a7. The first one who went all in hit, he went all in with a7 of hearts, so he makes a seven. Uh, the blind strategist, typical, he has deuce eight, and mama has ace king. Ace king. So we would lose to her. We would lose to her. We would lose about two. 50 to her for the main we'd have about another 200 behind so on a side pot we would collect uh 200 from each player so on the side pot we would collect 400 dollars which would leave us with our same stack so <laughs> i don't know I don't know whether it would have been a good call or a good fold, but um, it's it's just it's just crazy here in Texas. All right, so after that fun pot, let's decompress a little bit and come back down to reality. Uh, in this next hand, uh, we picked up Ace Queen. I'm sorry, we picked up Ace King. Uh, we had the button straddle on. Uh, we make it 35 on the button. We get two callers. Mama doesn't call because she's still stacking up a huge amount of chips. Uh, the flop came down. Uh, the flop came down nine nine five, and it gets checked to us. Uh, and when it gets checked to us here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bet out uh, fifty dollars. So pretty, Ace King. We bet fifty, and the villain calls. Uh, the flop is nine nine five. Uh, generally, ace high should be still good here, um, but when he does call and now he checks the turn, uh, the turn was another five. When he checks the turn, we just gotta put him in here, and of course he snap calls. <laughs> of course he snap calls, and he turns up. Oh, you guessed it, five deuce. Yes, the old five deucer. The five deucer boatski. Yeah, five, uh, nine, five, five flop. He had a pair of fives on a flop, uh, and so when we bet uh, with the ace high, he just decided to call, and he, of course, he hit another five on a turn, which boated him up, and we lose. All right, so this next hand, we pick up our favorite hand, Queen Jack off, which is a hand I like to call the gay jerk. 
We got a player who folded and exposed a king, so we know a king is gone. We went ahead and we made it 15 to go under the gun, and we got two callers, the button and the small blind. Mama is in the button. She, let's see, did she do anything? She's peeking at her cards again, which is what people do when they're trying to make it look they didn't hit anything. I don't know. Maybe that's what they do. She did go ahead and check, and we go ahead and bet out $20. Uh, the button goes ahead and folds. Mama is still stacking up her chips from that massive pot that she won. Just, just playing with it in our face. She does call the 20. And we hit another jack on the turn. Let's go. Flop is jack ace three was the flop. Uh, jack on the turn. So right here, we're going to go ahead and bet out. I think we bet out $95. Mama's going to peek back again, and we hope she calls. Let's go. Give me some of those chips. Mama, call. Let's go. Let's go. Mama, hurry up and call. Hurry up and... And, oh, no, that's the wrong position. That's a fold. That's a fold. Oh, man, we bet too much. But at least we scoop a decent pot. I think that pot had about, I don't know, maybe like $110 in it. All right, so shortly after we pick up Jack 10, a.k.a. the Justin Timberlake, we're in the low jack. The $5 straddle is on, so we make it, we make it 15. It gets back to the small blind who min clicks it to 30, and we go ahead and call. The straddle actually gets out of the way. And so now we're heads up with my action buddy. Again, we've got Jack 10. The flop comes out A7-7. Small blind's gonna lead out for 15. Uh, and we call. We call with some bad intentions to take it away from him on the turn. And we got the turn five. He checks to me. And we're gonna go ahead and bet out 50. And he just folds. He folds King Jack. He folds King Jack face up, and we show him the Jack 10. We let him know, look, we bluffed him. We're playing, and uh, hey, you got to keep playing. You got to keep battling in the streets, buddy. All right, guys, here we go. Back to the action. Looks like we are in middle position. Oh, and we pick up pocket kings. Let's go. In middle position, we went ahead and we decided to raise it to 30 because we had the $5 straddle on. We raised to 30 with the $5 straddle on. So we got one caller. Loose action player decides to call. And this new guy decides to call. And the button decides to call. Let's go. Five way Texas heads up. Let's do it. Flop comes down. 257 flop. That's great. You know what? Even though that board looks terrible for our range, uh, for our raising range, um, it's still a flop that really nobody really should have much of in a raised pot. I mean, it, this is, you know, decent multi way action, but still, no one really should hit a whole bunch of this pot. We go ahead and we bet out 100, and we're going to make it tough for these guys. They're going to have to decide if they want to play or not for 100 bucks. Uh, there's already about 150 in the pot, so our 100 makes it uh, 250. And let's start the fold festival. Let's go. Dealer button folds, small button, small blind folds, big blind folds, and the new player folds. So, hey, we're going to go ahead, show them the cowboy, show them the goods, and uh, take it down. All right, guys, we are almost at the tail end of this thing. Just a couple more hands to go, and we will wrap this vlog up. I, I want to thank y'all for uh, for bearing with me. This is a work in progress. I'm learning my new style, learning what I want to do, and we are just going to keep trying to bring y'all hands, bring y'all some vlog goodness, and hopefully we can make this a good, entertaining vlog. All right, so let's get on to this hand. This hand looks like we got ace, ace queen. Yeah, looks like we got ace queen. We made it a uh, $35 to go on the button, and we got one caller from the small blind. Oh, and it looks like the loose action player, uh, he decided to call as well, so we got two callers. Flop came down, ace king three. Ace king three is a great flop for ace queen. It's going to go ahead and check to us. Checks once, and it checks twice. 
we're gonna go ahead and down bet. We're gonna go ahead and lead small for twenty dollars. And the player calls. Turn is. I think the turn was a seven. Turn was a seven. And now, he does something really weird. He just went ahead and leads out for about fifty or sixty, which is kind of crazy. I mean, the board looks best for me. And at this point, I knew he only had about $100 left, so the bet was so strange. I just went ahead and put him in. I'm like, I'm never folding. He only got $100 behind, so I'm just going to go ahead and put him in for $200. Uh, of course, he can only really call for the additional $100. But um, he folds. I mean, like I, I pretty much thought he was committed to this hand when he... When he bet, but apparently he still found a fold there. I don't know what he even had. Maybe he just had a draw. Maybe he had like a gutter. Probably like a stop and go play. He was trying to stop me from betting the river or something by betting in front of me on the turn. But I don't know. It was weird, but I'll go ahead and take it. Take it now. Let's go. All right, guys. We are at the end of this thing. This is the last hand. The last hand, as you can see, there was a couple of limpers in front. And we've got the creme de la creme. We've got pocket aces. Couple of limbers in front. The $5 straddle was on. I believe there was an early position player that made it $10 to go. So we made it $50 in the cutoff. We're trying to get things hot and heavy. We're making it $50 with aces. We're trying to get some real money in there. And I believe, I'm sorry for the bad angle, we did get a couple of calls on this one. So you see the player in the top right hand corner. He went ahead and put in some red chips. He called the 50. I believe one of the blinds called the 50 and we saw a flop. We saw a flop of 963 and it goes check check. It checks over to me and then like an idiot. What do I do? I think I checked back. I checked back and the turn was another nine. So we had a flop of 973. The turn was another nine. And I think into three players. Oh, it checks over to me again. I think I went ahead and I, yep, I decided to bet out. I decided to bet out $50, guys. In hindsight, it was not a good idea to check the flop. Uh, we get called right here by the $50, 50, uh, $50 in the top right-hand corner. That was the only player that called, by the way. River was a deuce. So we had a flop of 973 nine deuce and he goes out and bets 200 guys and the rule is you don't need to hero call at one two but i go ahead and do it anyway he shows me nine six off for a turned three of a kind i paid him off with the aces kind of a bad call not kind it is a bad call i don't really need to pay the 200 dollars there i don't know I could go either way on that, but um, that's it, guys. We thought we were going to have a break-even session, and we did not. We thought we were going to get ahead with the aces, and we did not. We go ahead, and we lose 300 on a session, and we have to cash out a loser. <laughs> um, it's going to happen from time to time, but I'm glad y'all hung out here with me on this vlog, and I uh, appreciate uh Appreciate the time y'all spending. Um, we are going to get better. We, this is a work in progress, guys. We are trying to improve. Um, and uh, we're going to try some new things. We're going to try a whole bunch of stuff. And see what happens. See where this thing goes. Hey, well, till next time, guys. We are going to go ahead and sign out and cash out with our remaining 500 bucks, And we are going to live to fight another day. Later, guys.